Part 44, who the fuck did I marry? So let's be clear, because you lied in this, this. Let me tell you which one you lied in, right here. I think you lied right here. No, 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 no. This is the truth. Judge, and this and, is Okay, good morning. I had to do one in the car. I just had to do one in the car. Good morning. I would be, today, I would be reacting to episode 44 and episode 45. Now, okay, on who TF did I marry? Baby, okay, episode 44. This is when the man actually, because I talked about it in 43 briefly, but this man, when she finds out about his, she just, she's found out about his parents, right? That his parents, um, his daddy were nowhere near on no church. Now, he was in law enforcement, okay? And his daddy had a badge. And he was using his dad's old badge, impersonating an officer to get things, I guess, to steal from people. Because she said he tried to pass I don't have it sitting in front of me. Basically, what the incident report shows is that he pretended to be an officer using a badge. I later found out it was the badge that his dad had as a former correction officer. Same last thing. So he was pretending to be um, a police officer at an apartment complex on the south side of Atlanta. Got to get the police officer at their pizza. They got to protect and serve the so police got to eat too. Let the officer eat, please. I have a pizza man here to deliver the pizza. Thank you. Officer, I got your pizza on. And proceeded to tell people that he was an investigator and he was looking for drugs. He also proceeded to try to uh, pat down someone and then also proceeded to try to go into a woman's apartment and do a search. This is in the incident report. So and that's what he got locked up for. Now, as a one of the wives had, she had um, corroborated that story. But like I said in my other video, I didn't download the video. She has removed it. Baby, I got notes. <laughs> so wait a minute. So in 44, this is what I wanted to speak on as well, though. Um, Risa Tisa, honey, I can only imagine telling the story, especially as detailed and you reliving it, um, that it has to be difficult for you. But also, I think it's possible that it's therapeutic. So, first of all, let me say this. It is not easy telling this story. It is, it's entertaining I know it's gone viral, um, but it is not easy telling this story. I made a decision to tell the story. I made a decision to share my story, what I went through in hopes that it helps just one person. And then I do, I want to let you know that I do appreciate the fact that you came out and you told your story. Many of us have stories and many of us have fears that Oh my goodness, like what if? Because this online dating thing seems to be kind of weird for some of us, right? But anyway, thank you for telling your story. You say it was difficult and I can only imagine it. I kind of got a little emotional when you was talking about that part. But you know, it's sad that this man, this uh, this man has an illness, y'all, you know, and <laughs> it was just interesting that she said that he was impersonating an officer and that was part of charges of um his little weekend jail right i think this is why he did the weekend jail if i understood her correctly now 45 i didn't want to talk about 44 as much it wasn't a whole bunch but 45 let me tell y'all something about burning bridges because this man has burned so many bridges that this woman she has been hurt mentally by and emotionally by this man but she's concerned about him and i get it I'm like, is my lipstick? Okay, no. It looked real dark on this side. I was like, what's wrong? But anyway, I get it. And I was like, Lord, look at her acting like Melissa. Somebody that don't really give a damn about you. She right, she calling around looking for this man. Guess what? She's like, look, I ain't heard from him. But then everybody like, we don't care. <laughs> you the only one that care. But you know, he has burned so many bridges. And it's sad. And I'm going to tell y'all, y'all have to be careful in life just in general. Like, with burning bridges because you never know when you're gonna need somebody again you know and that's what he did that 
all these people knew that Legion was a liar. And I think that they all felt bad, with the exception of the Omar guy, felt bad that I was kind of just discovering what they've known for years. In those two weeks, I found out every single person I reached out to, not a single one of them gave a shit if that man was dead or alive. And it seems like he was real good at burning bridges with friends and family. And then it's just like, it has to be lonely. And that's what, I, I don't know, like this is just me always trying to look at, try to understand the person and trying to look at the good in the person. And it's like, you know what? I think he's just screwed up so much that he just keeps continuously screwing up when it comes to people. And it's like, when no one cares, it's to me, when I'm listening to this episode, it's like, man, like nobody cares. No one really cares. Like it's, well, I don't want to say people, I, a, a few of them, I think they care, but they're like, I can't, like, you know? And I mean, it has to be alone. It has to be, he has to be very alone in this big world when no one cares. You have to have an alone feeling when no one cares because you you screwed everybody. And that's sad. Hold on. And so what's my other note? Child, I can't enough to go get. But, but wait a minute. He had enough sense <laughs> that while he living in his car in the heat of the year, in Georgia to go check himself into behavioral health. So he had somewhere to sleep for a little bit. But I was like, no, I don't think people can just, I, it got to, had to be something wrong. He must have knew exactly what to say. But that's the thing, like, you know what? Cons, they, they got a lot of sense. It's like, they just don't use it to the good. Ooh, honey. <sighs> But you know, well, I guess diabetes is something that you need to, <laughs> it's a very bad disease. So, well y'all, that's my reaction to episode 44 and 45. Stay tuned, keep your head up, Risa Tisa. Child, I thought that man had hit my car. Maybe it was his, but why did it feel like I felt? Y'all have a good day, be great in it. Until next time. <laughs> hey y'all. Technicians, technicians. It's fun over here. It's fun over here.